Hi, welcome to this quick uh, BLE indoor GPS demo. What I'm going to be showing is an indoor GPS, basically, which is based on BLE Bluetooth Low Energy Beacons. These Bluetooth Low Energy Beacons look something like this. Um, inside, they have a coin battery. Important things to note is that each of them have a code, in this case, 8YAD. And we can stick them around uh, um, the building to know our location. So, for example, here is a map, uh, floor plan of the of our floor. This would be where I am sitting. We have another beacon in the cupboard there, which would be that cupboard there. And we also have a beacon somewhere over here. Uh, one of the first things I will do is add another beacon over here just to show you how easy it is to add a new location. So first thing we'll do is go grab a new uh, beacon. Let's do that. This is the new beacon that we're going to be using. Uh, we'll just note the code here, which is YPR capital S, and we'll put it into location. So bear with me. Is I've placed um, a beacon over here, somewhere over here, actually down there, YPRS. So we'll just add a new location. We get told to click anywhere on the map to choose a location. So we'll click here and we'll say uh, the beacon code was YPR with a capital S. So, okay. Um, so that was just adding a new location. What I'm going to do now is start up the uh, Android app, which actually senses the BLE beacons. So let's unlock it, put in our BLE map, and start monitoring the iBeacons. As soon as I press this, we get a little avatar that goes right to my desk. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is get my phone, put it into my pocket, and walk to another location. For example, let's say I'll walk across the hall down here. So let's see that in, in, in action. Walking to the, to the other side. And now, walking back to my desk, should bring it there. Now, what I'm going to do is walk over to the cupboard across the room from me, and we should also see the avatar move. Now, walking back to my desk, and that pretty much sums up the, uh, the location move that we've built in is, is barcode scanning. So for example, this represents me right here. And um, the Android app has the capability to um, capture barcodes. You can see over here, these could be GS1 barcodes. They could be any barcode. Uh, so for example, here I have a barcode. It's just a random barcode. Let's say I would like to capture the barcode. That goes into a camera, and I am just going to capture the barcode like that. And you see, scanned and some weird number. This could have been a patient bed, it could have been a, a patient file, whatever. But now, clicking on my avatar over here, the operator will get additional information. Dr. Vassallo and last file scan, scanned being the... Um, the number that I just scanned with the barcode. So you can see how this starts to integrate into iFit. The very last thing that I wanted to show was the concept of what I'm calling exclusion zones. Uh, exclusion zones are somewhere where a user is not supposed to be. So let's say I add an exclusion zone around the new beacon, which I just added over here. So I'm going to add an exclusion zone. I get told, please click anywhere on the map. I'm going to click and drag my mouse 
there, making an exclusion zone. And what I'm going to do now is walk from my desk to somewhere in the exclusion zone. And we should get a pop-up saying that the user went into an exclusion. So that's coming up next. It's taking the, the Android phone and just walking towards the um, exclusion zone. I'm focusing back on the, there we go. So, and there we go. He went into the exclusion zone. And we get a pop-up saying the user is in, the, in an exclusion zone. Instead of a pop-up, this could have been anything, you know, an alarm because a baby was taken out of a maternity ward with 